It's going to start streaming. I'm hoping it's streaming. It says it's live. Excellent. Good morning, children. I hope you're all okay. Happy Monday. Thank you to all of you who took part in the VE Day Remembrance Celebrations over the weekend. I've posted your video this morning onto Facebook and it looks fabulous. You all look glorious, like you had a really good time. Um, I've also popped it on our YouTube channel as well, so make sure you have a look at that. Um, well done. Thank you for that. I have had a few entries into the AET Thank a Teacher Day um, celebration. So just a reminder on that, because all of your teachers are working so hard, they are working their socks off, AET, our sponsor, have decided to get involved with the National Thank a Teacher Day and they would love it if you would send a photograph of yourself holding up a piece of paper, something like this, saying thank you to your teacher, putting a star on it, that would be wonderful and then I can send them on and then they're all going to go on our website and the trust is going to make a huge big thing I'm not really sure what yet to say thank you to all of our amazing teachers so if you want to do that make sure you get it done because the closing date is the 15th which is this week okay we do have two more remarkable lives competitions which I am going to show you in one moment. But first of all, children, I have to say hello to the 22 children that we've already got signed in this morning. So teachers, are you all ready? They're nodding at me. I, I, I hope you can see them, children. So we're saying hello to Georgie and Elijah and Karim. Max says good morning and misses you all, as does Maya. Isabella, Holly, Millie, Delio says happy Monday, everybody. The Brennan children say good morning to everyone. They're sending lots of love and hugs to everybody, uh, their teachers. Oh, and to me as well. Thank you, Brennans. We've got Gracie and Casey Brook who says good morning to everybody. We've got Deanna and Beth and Charlie and Kyra and Alex and Gracie again. Nice, Gracie. And Alkione says hello. And Lonya and Luan say hello to me. Hi, Lonya and Luan. Olivia and Sienna want to say a huge hello to all of their friends. The whole school and their teachers, they're missing everybody a lot. Whew, 23 children already, that's good. Let's see if we can get it up above the 34 we had last week. Right, I'm going to show you the new competitions. So just one second, here we go. So we have two competitions this week. The first one is a volunteering competition to take part in or develop a community event or project to help others live a better quality of life. That's an interesting one. So again, you can do a video up to two minutes long or a poster, but both of those must demonstrate how your project lives one or more of the AET values and you know what they are. Be unusually brave, discover what's possible, push the limit and be big hearted. So that's the first one. Now the next one is a little bit tricky. I'm not sure I quite understand it yet, but it is to create a concept of a remarkable lives YouTube or digital channel. Hmm, I'm not really sure what that means. It could be very exciting. Teachers, if anyone has any ideas on that, feel welcome to contribute. Children, I hope we get a lot of entries onto that this week. I'm going to stop presenting my screen now. Ta -da! And I am back. Teachers, give us a wave. Okay. Oh, we've got some more hellos, teachers. We've got a good morning from Jan and a happy Monday from Harry. We've got morning from Caleb. We've got Lucy and Philip also saying hello. We are catching up on last week's assembly. Right, teachers, it is over to you. Mrs. Dixie, I can see that you have chosen Isabella this week. Yeah, I picked Isabel this week. So she's always busy doing my activities and then her and her mum do extra and go on above and beyond. And last week, I sent a challenge for the children to learn how to say hello in different languages. And Isabel sent me a beautiful video saying hello in Mandarin. Oh, very nice. Can you tell us how to do it, Mrs. Dixie? Ni hao. Ni hao. Did you have a, a, a sprout this week as well, Miss? Um, so, I've well, 
I've got Joshua um, who's been sending me amazing videos and he was doing hello in different languages um, and he was watching videos and saying bonjour and ciao so Joshua this week. That's incredible <laughs> only two years old and speaking different languages well done Joshua good job. Mrs Glade you have chosen Shivania. I have chosen Shivania this week. She always tries hard on doodle maths and is getting so many stars every single week and she's making fantastic progress. So well done, Shivania. Oh, good job, Shivania, because I think, well, I know that one of the reception classes this week is the winner on doodle, but I think it's Miss Watson's class. It's not Ash class. It's not Ash class. <laughs> not Ash class. <laughs> it's Watson's. So Shivania is helping you, Mrs. Blades, to catch up to Mrs. W Miss Watson. Do you think you'll get there? Well, she is. We just need all the other Ash class boys and girls to get on to Doodle and help us as well. Fabulous. So, Miss Watson, you've chosen you well. Yeah, I've chosen you this week because he's worked really hard. He does all the challenges and then he does challenges of his own. Um, he's done lots of tricky sums this week, which he, he absolutely loves maths. Um, but he's also done lots of creative learning too, making pictures with dried rice and beans and some lovely shadow drawings as well. Oh, wow, that sounds great. Well done. Miss Moran, you have chosen Max. I have. I've chosen Max for his amazing history work that he did. So I set the children a task to learn about Mary Annin and how she found fossils. And the children had to draw a fossil, but Max didn't just draw it. He created it out of salt, though, and it just looked incredible. Wow. So really I love the Mary Annie information. It's very, very interesting. Miss Levitt, you have chosen Yared. I have. I have chosen Yared because he tries really hard on everything. But I have noticed this week on Doodle Maths and Doodle English, he has got the highest score in the whole of Willow class, which I find very impressive. That is very impressive. Yared, mm -hmm. maybe you could help Willow class catch up to Miss Watson's class. What do you think? Oh, that would be a really good idea. So, that's good. Mrs. Walton, you have chosen Maisie J. I have chosen Maisie J this week. She is doing incredible. On Google Classroom, she is submitting all of her work and she's constantly sending pictures in of all the work she's been doing. She's making me feel really proud. And very smiley, I think. Yeah. <laughs> good on a Monday morning. That is good, Mrs. Walton. Miss Kater, you have chosen Jessica. I have. I've chosen Jessica this week because she's just worked her socks off all week. Um, she's been logging into Google Classroom every single day, logging into Doodle Maths every day and just trying her hardest. So I'm really proud. Oh, that's good. Well done, Jessica. Mr. Hall has chosen Annie. I've chosen Annie because uh, she's found it quite difficult to get onto the classroom and complete her work, but she's finally there. She's discovering what's possible. She's asking lots of questions as well. Great job. Well done, Annie. Miss Furnish, you've chosen Kyra. Yeah, I've chosen Kyra this week because she's fully embraced her online learning. She completes every task. She's joined in with every one of our live lessons and I love seeing her um, her afternoon activities. She did a great dance routine for celebrating uh, VE Day last week. I think I saw that dance routine. It was excellent. Good job, Kyra. Well done. Miss McFarlane, you have chosen Philip. I've chosen Philip simply for his dedication to his work. He's trying absolutely hard, his hardest, um, which is all I can ask at this difficult time. Oh, well done, Philip. That's nice, Miss McFarlane. Miss Patel, you've chosen Kaylee. I've chosen Kaylee because she's embracing the virtual school really, really well. She's always on every day, completing her maths and her English. If she gets stuck, she asks for help. And in English, if I've ever done a bit of a shared write, I know she's read it because I can see that she's put elements in her own writing. So she's oh. using everything I'm putting on. So she's doing really well. That's good. Well done, Kaylee. Miss Marshall isn't with us because she's not very well. Uh, but from pair class, we have Michelle. Would one of you ladies like to tell me why we've chosen Michelle this week? I have chosen Michelle um, because I set pair class a ready, steady cook challenge where they were given seven ingredients and they had to create something from those seven ingredients. And she made a chicken and chorizo paella and it just sounded delicious. Ooh. That sounds incredible. What were the seven ingredients, Miss McFarlane? So they had rice, chilli, chicken, chorizo, cheese, um, salt and pepper, I think. They didn't have to use all of them, but yeah. 
amazing sounds delicious and then from school this week we have the lovely lexi who has been working really really hard um with her virtual learning but doing so in school so well done to lexi right i'm just going back to my shout out screen are you ready we've got some more diana says hello again miss patel hello from diana um al Kiyomi would like to tell miss levitt that she's done her work well done al Kiyomi. good job big thumbs up from miss levitt kyra says yay thank you miss Furness. she's very happy that she got the certificate well done kyra right I am going to try something a little bit different now. I'm going to say, children, you've got 30 seconds to send us some more messages. Anything that you want to say to one another or the teachers, go. And let's see if we get any in. This could this could be a quiet 30 seconds, teachers. Victoria says, hi. We're on 33. Oh no, I think they've all got to sleep, teachers. Mm. Ah. Philip says he's very happy. That's good news, isn't it? I'm glad about that, Philip. Miss McFarlane gives you a massive thumbs up. Good job. Lucy says she misses everyone. Poor Lucy. We miss you too, Lucy. Simone says hi. Gracie would like to say hello, especially to Miss Furnace. There you go, Miss Furnace. Shout out for you. Joshua would like to say hello to Mrs. Dixie. Hi, Mrs. Dixie. Beth would like to say hi to Miss Furnace and she misses us all. Harry and Kyra are asking if they can come back to school. I know it's tricky, my lovelies, but we are not quite ready for you to come back to school yet. As soon as we are able, we will have you back in school. Stefania says hi. Isabella says I miss you, Miss Moran. Oh, Miss Mar Oh, she misses you too. You. Big sad face. <laughs> Alex says he hopes that we are all okay. Teachers, are we all okay? We yeah. are. That is good. Joshua says hi. Casey Brooks says she hopes everybody is well. Philip would like to say a big hi to Simon. Lawanda and Lanya, this is nice. Says that they and all of their teddies say that they miss us all that's nice from luanda lonya's teddies uh lucy says she can't wait to see miss moran sergal says hi anna says hi max is very happy i bet that's because he got the certificate well done max angel and zanetta say hi there's a lot of eyes everyone adria says my dog sipped up a peter rabbit slushy that he had oh no you don't want to do that that's terrible diana is missing school very much but we know you're doing a great job with your online learning diana keep that up please charlie says elliot would like to say thank you to mrs dixie that's nice and that charlie says a big hello and thank you to everyone so that's nice ethan says hi mrs dixie holly says hi to everyone in her class and to miss walton and to mrs bentley hi holly oh Teachers were on 57 messages today. Woo! That's good. We're going to have 10 more seconds and then we're going to stop. Adrias, I'm not sure what that message means. I'm not going to read that one out. Mackenzie says hi to Philip. An anonymous person says hello. That's good. <laughs> right then, lovelies. Oh, Alkyoni says hi to all of her friends. Harry also says hi to Miss Moran. Miss Moran, you've been very popular today. You've had a lot of hellos. Oh, feeling it, like it. Well, you're feeling the love. That's good. Yeah. Right then, lovelies. I think we're going to have to finish there. Thank you so much for joining in with our assembly this morning. Make sure that you do message your friends and get them to get involved with our assembly next Monday. So it's really nice to hear you hear from you even if we can't see you and be in the same room okay remember please to get your thank a teacher day entries in you holding a piece of paper with your message on for your teacher thank you again and stay safe everyone teachers big bye bye from everyone it was a very quiet goodbye from the teachers okay bye bye <laughs>